now gets you stuck will it be on the competitive front and will you play more XQCL? Years on the road, now you've parked yourself right this is good. Feels like Pog you. Rules, you know the lifelines. Mm -hmm. Ready to play? Mm -hmm. Okay, then let's play Millionaire. <laughs> Going for a hundred dollars, Kevin. Which of these projectiles is normally shot from a slingshot? Oh, that's hard. Stone, Stone, arrow, cannonball, mom's meat. What the fuck? You got it right for a hundred dollars. Going for two hundred. Mom's Rudy Giuliani served as the 107th mayor of what city? Washington. Who would know DC, this? Chicago, Boston, New York City. What well, is it? Some of these questions are going to be tough, so I better go now. No, <laughs> if I get this one wrong, I'll never get out of here. So, uh, New York City. New York City. Yeah, fuck. Again. That would be Rudy. You got it for two hundred dollars. It was one of the big cities. Because if they ask me, it's, it's a big city, right? It's commonly used to stir fry food. Walk, crockpot, colander, rotisserie. Walk. A walk. Right for three hundred dollars. Okay. Which of these animal names is also a term often used to refer to a spy? Bull, mole, mole. flea, tiger. Final answer. You got it again for five hundred dollars. Going for a thousand. Chef, bucks. How are we gonna spend this? Olive branch is an ancient symbol of what? Ooh. Knowledge. Peace, well, spread. knowledge. So quick, what? you are. You got it for a thousand dollars. Wait, what? Oh no, I lost. I, I hate that sound because that means we have to wait until tomorrow to see how far Kevin goes. I would have loved him all the money. studying for this show some even spend a couple of months well our returning contestant kevin smith says he began preparing for this day 46 years ago okay he realized his destiny was to be on a game show and now 46 years later you finally made it yeah Whew. i'm a little on the slow side and i understand that you are still cramming up until the last minute yes ma'am what'd uh, you do did you bring some books i heard with you uh you were allowed four bags and i bought three and a half bags full of books and about a half a bag of clothes and, what kind uh, of books are you bringing? Like encyclopedias or? Well, yeah, uh, desk encyclopedias and, and uh, all sorts of reference books. I bought everything except the thesaurus, which I don't need. I assume you're going to need. So your head is full of a lot of useless information. Exactly right. It's just coming out of my ears. Do you feel any question that's thrown this out? This guy's humor did. Oh, I wouldn't be that presumptuous. I'm just going to give it my best shot. Listen, you have already won $1,000, OK? So you're just 10 questions away from winning $1 million. And you have all your lifelines left. They're all looking at you. So are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Audience, are you ready? A million. Already then, let's play millionaire. This isn't here, dude. This is a bunch of randos. Okay, you're going for two thousand dollars here, Kevin. Two K. A Zamboni is a machine okay. used to do. Okay, okay, yeah. Let's forget about the beginning of the game, okay? Let Let's say that we had it all right up until here. Let's play properly. What? Reset bowling pins. Shoot tennis balls. Clean ice. Trim golf greens. Resurface ice. Resurface rinks. ice rinks. The resurface ice rinks. Final. Is Good start off. for you. You got two thousand dollars. That's really easy. I didn't read the chat. I, I, I live in Canada. Go for four thousand here now, Kevin. The 1995 movie The Usual Suspects takes its title from a famous line in what movie? Casablanca. The Godfather. Cool Hand Luke. North by North. Casablanca. Lot. Final answer. Could be the Godfather, or North by North with Cary Grant, but it's uh, Casablanca. Hey, final answer, sweetheart. Easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Humphrey, you are right. You got I told you guys. Out. I really like that movie. It's about gonna like it. Only. Paul. Eight thousand, Kevin. Thank you. In the game of chess, which of these pieces is never able to move diagonally? Oh come on now. Pawn, king. Queen, Rook. Rook. Final answer. I guess I'm going to have to go 50-50. 50-50. All right, computer, please randomly take away two wrong answers, leaving one wrong what? answer and the right one. Already, you got a king or a What? Rook. D, Rook. Final. You 
got it right for eight thousand dollars. Yeah, he's trolling, right? He's gotta be. Yeah, he's trolling, dude. Okay, Kevin, you're going for sixteen thousand here. On the TV series Everybody Loves Raymond, Raymond and his wife have a total of how many children? One, two, three, four. Fuck! I say three. I'm not gonna chat. Well, you have two lifelines there if you need. I'm only for four though. Chat, I'm not gonna chat. I'm not gonna chat. chat. I think it's two or four. Kevin needs your help. On your keypads, you A, B, C, or D. Vote now. I'm set. I'm a little bit set on three though. Eighty-two percent believe it is three. <laughs> chat. Here's, here's the reason. It's a boomer show. It's a family. They probably want to represent the, the American dream and have like a you know a normal sized family. Three. That mean they're right. Oh, right. That's awful. That's one of the highest percentages ever. Thank you very much. Um, C three final answer. You want to thank him one more time? Yes. Thank you very much. You got it, sir. Shout out, sixteen J. How are we gonna spend that? We know the boob tube, okay, here at Millionaire. That we know. You're going for 32000 here, Kevin. You get this right. You can't leave with less than that. Thank you. What rock group is named after a gym teacher who taught at the original band members' high school? The Birds, Leonard Skinner, Jefferson Airplane, Pink Floyd. You don't have to guess. Well, you do have a lifeline. I just want to remind you of that because if you guess wrong, you B or D. But if you think you know, and you want to save that Ch lifeline, I would use my lifeline here, chat. I think it's B. Leonard Skinner, the uh, final release. Well, you guessed right, Kevin. You got it for thirty-two thousand dollars. He didn't guess. Ch he's got to be trolling, right? I can buy a big box of socks. Okay. I was yeah, well, you can get a big, big box. Whoa. All kinds of socks. Alrighty. Is that what you really want? I noticed that all of a sudden, every time I was Pepper. pulling on a sock, I found another hole. Because I keep buying well in, in, in bunches. So when I was sat here and, and won the, uh, the thousand Not a husky idiots. That's all I kept thinking was, well, I can buy some socks now. You know, so, okay. Yeah. So back the truck up. Yeah, we, exactly. Thirty-two yep, thousand dollars worth of lie. socks. You're gonna have no shortage of socks. <laughs> Let's go for like pants, okay? Yeah, all right. Over sixty-four thousand here. <laughs> Upgrade. <laughs> Absolutely. Sixty-four k. The flu vaccine is not recommended for people who are very allergic to what? Ooh, that's pretty hard. Eh? Peanuts, eggs, milk, honey. Pie peanuts did. The eggs final. What? You know, all this studying has definitely paid off, Kevin. You have $64,000. We lost again. I, mean, I lost. <laughs> okay. Well, you're, you're, you're four away from... You would walk away now, really? Chat. Chat, type one if you walk away with me right now. Type one and type two if you want. That's a lot of ones, holy shit. Okay. Anti communist leader Joseph McCarthy served as a U.S. senator for what state? Okay, yeah, you, you guys should have run away. Kentucky, Wisconsin, Ohio. Let's see, Wisconsin finally. <laughs> you are now three away from a million dollars. Jesus, dude. That's crazy. Retired truck She's driver. mobbing. You've been waiting 46 years for this moment, preparing for 46 years. Excuse me, it's uh, actually 45. I'm sorry, it's, it's 1957. Oh, 45. <laughs> well, okay. What's a year between? <laughs> and look at where you are. $125,000, just three away from winning a million dollars. You have one lifeline left. You're going for the million. And if you make it to a million, any plans? This is kind of interesting. Yes, I like this a lot. Uh, I, my, since I was five, I've only had to, two holy grails. One was to uh, be as lucky as my dad at finding the right woman. Uh, that's still a work in progress in Los Angeles. It's not as easy as it might seem. <laughs> and the second thing was I always wanted to make a lot of money, not for myself, but for my mom and dad. They that's gave us sweet, everything daddy. we needed. 
So you're going to give this one in plenty to your mom? My mom and my sisters. All right, Kevin, let's go for that million then. They deserve it. You're a nice guy. Well, that was wholesome. For $250,000, Kevin. Published in 1936, the first issue of Life magazine had a Margaret Bork White photo of a what on its cover. Dam, flower garden, volcano, lighthouse. Beauty. My dad was D. a big fan of life. He was an amateur photographer, actually took lessons from... Oh, volcano! Karshap, Ottawa, if you know who he is. And it's a... Flower garden. B, final. No? It's a dam. A, final. $250,000, Kevin. Wait, it did it. I barely saw any A's in the chat. Kevin, chat, uh, chat, my thought was that it did it. I don't know because if I get it, but it did it. If it's called Life Magazine, anything that is like nature, flower garden, volcano, but everything except a dam, because a dam is really like, isn't that kind of a little bit like anti nature? $250,000, Kevin. Not, not really, because it, it, it makes electricity sometimes, but like, it can destroy some of the, some of the fauna for the animals and whatnot. A little surreal, isn't it? Uh, it's a, this is my first out-of-body experience. <laughs> well, excuse me, I did, I did take a tab of... Oh, a beaver dam. Back in the 60s, everybody was going <laughs> okay, in. we don't need oh, yeah. to. I don't want them to take you away here. I was right, just, right. just one, just one. All right. I, I learned my lesson. I think it's still a little bit there, but I don't want to get Talk All right, about Kevin. flashback, boy. <laughs> Two away from a million dollars. You're going for $500,000, Kevin. One lifeline left. Jesus did And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free, is inscribed in the lobby of what agency's headquarters? It's like Interpol and shit, FBI, FBI shit. CIA, Department of Education, Library of Congress. CIA. CIA final answer. That's it. That's my call, dude. How about the chat? It might, it might not even be right. I'm gonna have to call a life, lifeline. And I, I'm just trying to figure out which one. Okay. Guys, he's not looking at chat, guys. Are you kidding me? This show is like fucking 30 years old. This is not live, dude. Let's ask Dr. Jerry Errico. He's an old pal. Dr. Jerry? Mm -hmm. Okay, our friends at AT&T are gonna help us get Jerry on the line. Dr. Errico. Hi, Jerry. Yeah. Hey, it's Meredith from Millionaire. Hi. Hi, I'm here with your old buddy, Kevin. Kevin who? <laughs> AT&T can Kevin suck my nuts. The... Oh, yes, yes, I remember him. You know Kevin, 46 years he's been preparing for this moment. Yes, I do. Guess how well he's doing. Have how a well? guess. How, uh, 64,000. No. Higher? Higher. Oh, Kevin, why'd you do this to me? <laughs> Go how, ahead. <clears throat> how about 500,000? He's going for $500,000. Oh, that's my old buddy, Kevin. That's him. <laughs> Are you ready? I am. All right, Kevin, you have 30 seconds, and your time starts right now. And, you sh and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free, is inscribed in the lobby of what agency's headquarters? FBI, CIA, Department of Education, Library of Congress. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free, is inscribed in the lobby of what agency headquarters? FBI, CIA. Department of Ed, Library of Congress. Five, four. I think it's three, Library of Congress, eighty percent. Eighty percent. Holy, this is a. Uh, this guy's stressful. Another direction? Yes, ma'am. For some reason, I was thinking the CIA. I don't know why. The Library of Congress makes a lot of sense, and uh, or the Department of Ed. Not Mr. Ed. That's something else. Uh, <laughs> well, that's a tough one because 
Wait. What do you go with? Your it's this, it's an friends. agency. He's a smart guy. The answer's in the question. If you get it wrong, you would drop down to thirty-two thousand dollars. Get it right, you go up to five hundred thousand. You can always, Kevin, if you wanted to, you could walk with the two hundred fifty thousand. Yes, ma'am. That money is very real, and it's there. I don't know why, but I, I think it's a CIA B final answer. Oh, jeez, Kevin. I'm so glad you trusted your gut. You got it right. Holy shit. Is this how Jerry died? Oh, my gosh. Kevin's going for a million dollars. When we come back, we'll be right back. He popped out, dude. Jerry can suck my nuts, dude. I'm so excited for you. I, I can't you believe much. you did that. That was a because I. Because Jerry's a real smart guy. Dr. Jerry, he's a wonderful chiropractor, you know, practitioner. I mean, he's the guy that you yeah. want to go, and he, he really knows a lot of stuff. But you didn't believe it. And I, uh, it's not that. It's just for some reason that's what I thought the first time I. Chiropractor lol. Well, listen, I Jerry, I'm sure is. Really Chat. I mean, you're saying fake. If if your back is broken, who do you see then? go with him he would have felt terrible well it was an, it was an intelligent guess. yep but i'm uh, sure he's glad listen i gotta tell you we've never had anybody get to this point you were the first contestant in the syndicated version of this show to get to this a point. surgeon so thank excited. you man smart i'm crossing everything i swear everything is crossed here are your, are your hands okay. still cold my hands are my hands are cold your hands are so warm well. It's all that vitamin E I've been taking. All right. You know what? You get the million. I'm going to throw in the socks. You don't have to oh. spend anything on the socks, all right? You know, touch, it, you touch your hands, <laughs> Dad. I want, I want those Did he finally meet the woman of his life? Is that it? Want. The guys down in Florida wear with the sandals, you know? Got him. The knee socks with the garters. We're going all the way. For $1 million. You ready to see the question? Yes, ma'am. All right. Let's play. Here it comes, chat, for a million stones. The U.S. icon... Uncle Sam was based on Samuel Wilson, who worked during the War of 1812 as a what? A meat inspector. Meat inspector, mail deliverer, historian, weapons mechanic. <clears throat> uh, let me just give me a moment, but I'm pretty sure. Chat. I, have to I think we've seen the very last question before on stream. Yes, ma'am. But if you get it right, you'll be the first contestant to win a million dollars. And I won't have to worry about socks for the rest of my life. No, you won't. <laughs> my, my mom will see to that. You make your mom a very happy woman. I'm sure she already is very proud of well, you. Well, but... there have been times where I probably could have been a better kid, but I, <laughs> I, I was always in her triumph, honest. Do you think you know it? Yes, For a million rock stones, huh? Yet, right. Uh, a ways back, there was an Asian gentleman who read a question I read it the same way he read it. The answer was nectarine. He read it as tangerine. Regis sat there and read it as tangerine. We, in other words, we all saw the same question. We all got the same wrong answer because we all read it too quickly. Okay. And uh, I just, I'm not milking the moment. Trust no, no, me. no, I just, please. <laughs> they, they, they are begging him to fucking milk the moment, dude. They want some content for the sure. million bucks, dude. The U.S. icon Uncle Sam was based on Samuel Wilson who worked during the War of 1812 as a what? Meat inspector, mail deliverer, historian, weapons mechanic. A meat inspector, final answer. I'm so excited. <laughs> Easy clap, dude. Holy shit. Bitrate! Holy shit! That's why you don't do your confetti on a broadcast, then. Chad, do you see yourself? Would you please let my mom know? That's nuts, then. Okay, chat, we need to talk. You guys always say taxes every time money's ever bought up. 
Guys, it doesn't matter what the fuck you do, there's always taxes. So why even bring it up, dude? That's weird. Why even bring it up? I am still in a state of total shock. I finally lost my millionaire virginity. First millionaire winner, Kevin Smith. It is quite unbelievable. I have to tell the audience a few things you don't know about Kevin. I told you he's a retired truck driver, drove for 20 years. You've been preparing for this for 45 years, being it's a, a, a game show. And again, I say to you, the, the sweetest moment. It's a fake number. You said you were sort of doing this for your, your dad and your mom. And I know that your dad has passed, and you said you wanted to give the million to your mom and your sisters. <sighs> and your mom is Thanks not here for making today me because laugh and smile at right, you know, so on the phone. <laughs> so why don't we call your mom, June, right now, and you can break the news to her, okay? Okie dokie. Okay, our friends at AT&T. Okay. Just teaser just a little. Okay. Farming little content for the stream. You're going to help us get June. Okay, dude. Hello. June? Yes, Meredith. Hey, hi. I'm here with your idiot son, Kevin. <laughs> he told you his name. He did. He said that he always signs his cards to you, your idiot son, Got Kevin. Got to watch this classic how you doing, June? video. Okay, how are you doing? I'm great. Kevin, you have 30 seconds, and your time starts now. Okie dokie. Mom? Yep. Go ahead. You can, you can relax. To a small stream I, I, uh, of I got like a thing yeah. Yeah. Attack, yeah. So it's, it's, it's got six zeros and a big one in front of it. Wow. And it, but, but I want to thank on TV all the all the nice things you and Dad and all the siblings have done for for me. The the idiot son who went out to Los Angeles, God knows why, but he did. But many years ago, uh, Malcolm Forbes was asked what the greatest single piece of luck was that he had in his life, and he said, "I chose the right parents." Wow. Okay, well you are the Wait, there's a gift I tax somewhere? A gift tax? People ask me why I took this gig. This is why I took this gig. <laughs> Love you, it's Q C and check it's Q C A. Wait, what the flying fuck?